Welcome back. The next job is to take the rear wing off so I can finish off prepping the boot. I can also finish off the Lexan rear window. I can make some holes where I'm going to bolt it to the boot. touch up the paintwork in the floor pan of the car I need to do a couple of things. There are three areas in the floor pan where I need to put the plugs back in. I have cleaned all the under seal off and I have painted them with etch primer. All I need to do is bond them in place. Next I'll go over the bare metal areas with some edge primer. ready to install on the boot lid. Firstly I need to remove all of the old rubber sealant. Then I need to prep the bare metal for some primer. There's still room for more weight to be saved from this boot lid. I can cut away some of the internal support on this lower section. I can take some more weight out of this outer skin. As the air is being drawn out of the back of the car by the radiator fan, if I drill some holes in this top section here, it will just help the air flow up to the vent on the Lexan window. <laughs> polycarbonate window where I trimmed it to avoid the rear quarter panel I just need to bring that line up straight up to the top edge it has a slight weave at the moment
Next, I need to mark out the holes where I'm going to drill through the window and the moon lid. Next, I will prepare the area that will be underneath the window. I will paint this with etch primer. The top part of the boot lid will be wrapped, the same as the lower part. As the rear wing is painted black, I will paint the mount the same colour. All I need to do is spray the area that's exposed by the cutout in the rear perspex. This paint job is a little rough even by my standard, however it does give it some continuity to the car. Next I'll put all the pieces back on the boot lid and then I'll fit it to the car. Where the boot lid fastens to the car, I'm going to replace the factory nut and washer. As you can see the profile of this washer is really thick. In order to save some weight, 
Instead, I'll use a more standard thin washer and nut as a replacement. back on the car hopefully you can see now how those holes will be utilized for getting the warm air out of the car that's it for another episode thank you for all of your comments and support so far on this build I'm happy now to be at a stage where I can start putting things on the car and not having to take them off again if you liked the video give it a thumbs up feel free to comment with any questions and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you next week